Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to safely remove external hard drives, SSDs, USB drives, etc., from your Windows computer. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. One of the main reasons for making this video is that I actually found myself wondering whether or not I needed to eject an external SSD before unplugging it from the computer. If you're familiar with Macs or external hard drives in general, you might be familiar with ejecting these devices before removing them. And if you don't, you might even get some sort of error message. Improperly ejecting these devices can lead to data loss. So it's very important to know how to safely treat these devices. Okay, so all of that being said, I'm gonna plug this into the computer and let's go over this with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna plug this into the PC tower and we're gonna take a look at the name of the device just so you guys can see what everything looks like. All right, so going into this PC, the device I just plugged in now is called SSD V3 and this holds some of my video production projects. Okay, so on Windows, when you have a drive formatted for Windows, more often than not, it's actually going to have a feature already configured on it. That's, and this feature is gonna let you unplug the device without having to do any formal eject procedure and that's completely safe, and that's completely safe and fine to do as long as you're not actively transferring or writing data. So how do you know if you need to press an eject button or not? Well, let's go ahead and click into the drive here. I'm gonna right click and let's hit properties. Next up, we're gonna go over to hardware. For this, this is the Samsung T7 Shield. This is the external SSD that we just plugged in. Once we've found the correct device, we'll double click into it. Click the little change settings button right here. And this is our final window that we need to get to. Click over to policies. And now we can see the removal policy that is set on the device. Quick removal is the default. This disables write caching on the device in Windows, which means we can plug this in and disconnect it safely. And we do not have to press any sort of eject button. We could switch this manually to the other policy, which is better performance. And this is going to give us write caching in Windows, but we would then have to eject the drive, which basically stops that process first before disconnecting the device to ensure that our safety is in place. It may actually be better to use this option in some cases if you're not sure whether your drive is being used or not. For example, I use mine in a program called DaVinci Resolve, and so it's actually actively caching render files to the drive while I'm using it. Now again, I usually just close all of my programs that may be using the drive, and then I unplug it without doing the eject feature. When we're talking about this feature for external drives, the same thing for USB drives as well. We want to make 100% certain that nothing is using the drive. Or we can simply change the safely remove hardware feature and manually eject the drive each time before we eject it. Let's go ahead and set this and I'll press OK. Now in order to safely eject the drive now that I've changed the settings to better performance, I'm going to click show hidden icons. And we actually have an icon for safely remove hardware and eject media. So by pressing on that, I have access to the T7 shield and I will click to eject it. We then get a notification telling us that it's safe to remove the hardware, at which point I will go ahead and unplug it. Now just to show you guys another quick example, here I have a memory card. This is a UHS-2 uh, Lexar Pro-grade memory card. I'm gonna plug this into the reader that's currently plugged into the PC and we'll show you how to safely eject this. Okay, the memory card is plugged in and I can simply right click on this and hit eject. And that's the easiest way to remove it. This being a memory card, it has slightly different properties. And so automatically we're gonna to want to make sure that we're ejecting it before we remove it. I can again access the same safely remove hardware and eject to media button from the taskbar here in Windows 11. And I can go ahead and eject it that way as well. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about ejecting your media from your PC, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new helpful video topic ideas to make for you guys. So if you have any specific ideas that come to mind, we would strongly encourage you to comment those below. The majority of our requested video topics get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.